way through a 16 run handicap field. And here's Richard. Chase then over 3,900 metres, just shy of two and a half miles. And Guillaume McCare and Charlotte Pritchard's Apple's Cat goes into the early lead. Stable companion Gallio Conti there in the Pierre Pulaski Silks with George Flash on the inside, followed by Jimbo Moon. Then came the Centrale Silks of Bali Land, followed by the Grey So Sweet and the back marker is Gento Desaburn. The colours carried to success in the first race, the handicap hurdle with Jeremy De Silva and Yannick Fuin. This is the back marker at the moment as Apple's Cat and Charlotte Pritchard take them along from on the outside, Gallio Conti in the Pierre Pulaski colours of Bold Eagle, who ran his final race in the big trotting Group 1 race in Belgium yesterday, went fourth in that race to FaceTime Bourbon. But out in front, it is Apple's Cat who leads from Gallio Conti in second position, George Flash on the outside in third, uh, So Sweet in fourth, Jimbo Moon alongside, as indeed is Barley Land, and the back marker remains Gento Desobo. So making their way towards the Brook, this is the fourth of the 16, and Apple's Cat, Charlotte Pritchard out in front, joined by uh, George Flash and Raphael Mayer, uh, followed by Jimble Moon. On the outside of that one is Gallio Conti, Baptiste Leclerc, and they are followed by So Sweet in the Pegasus Farms colours, and then the Centrale Silks of Barley Land, and the back marker remains Gento Desobo, Jeremy Da Silva, as they come towards the next. Right hand down here. And it's George Flash uh, just going on from Gallio Conti in second position. But Apple's Cat still bang there on the outside. That's the leading trio. Jimble Moon comes next in fourth. So sweet on the outside with uh, Barley Land on the inner. And then the back marker remains Gento Desilbo. So it's George Flash taking them along now from uh, Gallio Conti on the inside. Apple's Cat on the outer. Then Barley Land, Jimble Moon, so sweet. Still the back marker is Gento Desilbo. So George Flash in the orange jacket, uh, take them along here. George Flash leading, who is uh, fifth in the steeplechase here behind Apple's Cat at Clairefontaine last time out, mid-July. Leads from Gallio Conti, the odds-on favourite, taking that in second position. Gallio Conti runner-up over hurdles last time out in the Group 3 pre Casterabad at Otoy behind James de Burley. Steeple chase this afternoon, obviously. Apple's Cat comes next, Jimble Moon and So Sweet. A couple of lengths then back to Barley Land. And still, uh, Gento Desobo is at the rear. That was a double hurdle as they make their way towards the next. And George Flash is lobbing along in front from Gallio Conti in second position. Apple's Cat stem with Companion on the outside. That's a leading trio from Jimble Moon in fourth place, so sweet, and Regis Smidlin in fifth, followed through by both Barley Land and Gento Desilbo. Coming towards the open ditch, the small open ditch, which is number 11, and it's George Flash out in front, Gallio Conti and Apple's Cat come to it. And we'll get over that safely. In fourth place there is Jim Bumbu, just pushed along a little bit, it's so sweet. On the inside there is Barley Land, and the back marker, as he has been throughout, is Gento Desilbo as they come towards the next. That's the 12th, as they make their way towards the 13th. And George Flash, joined on the outside by uh, Apple's Cat, and Gallio Conti is in third. Jimbo Moon comes next, so Sweet is driven into this one, as they make their way over it. This is the Mer en Pierre. Oh dear, mistake by Barley Land, and oh dear, he's gone. Barley Land trips over the jockey there, Damien Mescan. Let's hope both are okay. That's Barley Land out of it, though as they make their way towards the another open ditch here. And Apple's Cat out in front. Probably better jump there by George Flash, but Gallio Conti just stalking that leading duo. Uh, Jimble Moon now comes under a bit of pressure, and they're clear at the moment from So Sweet and Gento Desilbo. And now Gallio Conti, the favourite, now hits the front for the first time. Good jump there, gets over it from Apple's Cat and George Flash. That's the leading trio. Then we've got Jimble Moon under pressure, but into the home straight and coming towards the final obstacle, a plane hurdle. And Gallio Conti's hardly broken sweat here. Uh, Apple's Cat stable companion is going to take that in second position. Uh, not the best of jumps there by George Flash. And then came Jimble Moon. But Gallio Conti and Baptiste Leclerc for Guillaume McKay and the Pierre Pulaski Silks is clear and going to justify odds on favouritism in no uncertain fashion. That's Gallio Conti out in front, lands race number two, the four-year-old steeplechase, uh, Apple's Cat stable companion in second, Jimble Moon was third, George Flash was fourth, 